Hello and welcome to the final vlog of uh, 2009. Uh, we've managed to make it together to the end of another year. Uh, we're both still standing, uh, me here at Tangle Web Central and you on the other end of the, uh, the blogosphere. What I thought we'd do over the next uh, nine short minutes is something a little bit different and that is hand out the ATW Political Awards for 2009. Now, I hear some of you say, we, we weren't told about this. Uh, we didn't get the memo. Well, let's put it like this. Those who needed to know were informed. And votes have been flooding in by the thousand. And in fact, they've been validated quite independently by the Climate Research Unit at the University of East Anglia, that most reputable and august of bodies. And if they say the votes are fair enough, then who am I to argue with that? So let's kick off with a couple of the local awards to start with. Um, first of all, the Northern Ireland Politician of the Year. The, this is awarded in 2009 to the traditional Unionist voice leader, uh, Jim Allister, who has made a significant impact on Unionist, polit uh, unionist politics um, over the past year. Um, the European election performance when he got 66,000 votes um, so making the DUP look green around the gills was a particular high watermark for the TUV in this year. And it strikes me that uh, Jim Allister and the team he has are well placed uh, in 2010 and beyond to further um, confound the critics and, uh, and cause even further sensations down the road. Um, the TUV, or the DUP's worst nightmare, and rightly so, because the TUV actually provide a decent alternative for unionists fed up with terrorism government, sick of dysfunctional government, and anxious to see the return of good government to Northern Ireland. It gives those unionists somewhere to place their vote. Northern Ireland's most promising politician of 2009 is Peter Robinson. The first minister and DUP leader has... Um, won this award for a very, very simple reason. He makes more promises than any other politician I know. Of course, he doesn't keep those promises. Remember the classic about Republicans not being fit for a generation before they would be able to share power? Little did we know he referred to a generation in terms of fruit fly lives. Uh, Mr. Robinson, of course, uh, realises that those promises that he has made uh, will be uh, brought up, the public will be reminded, and in 2010 they will have a chance to pass judgment themselves on the promising Mr. Robinson. Moving slightly broader afield, um, I'd like to sort of then talk about the UK Politician of the Year. And there are two uh, characters that spring to mind in this regard. One is Nigel Farage, the UK Independence Leader, uh, UK Independence Party Leader rather, um, uh, Nigel has made some excellent speeches in the uh, European Parliament and he certainly uh, spoke, spoke truth to power as regards the corruption that um, the European Union itself is steeped in and uh, I've certainly enjoyed his contributions to the EU debate in, uh, in 2009. But I think the other politician who's made possibly an even greater impact has been the Conservative MEP Dan Hannan. Now, uh, Dan Hannan has again made some excellent speeches in uh, in Brussels, um, attacking the uh, corruptocrats over there in the first instance, um, making a brilliant speech as regards uh, our dysfunctional Prime Minister Gordon Brown. And in many ways, uh, Hannan uh, represents the very best of conservative values. And I only wish that there were more amongst the Cameronian ranks of a similar calibre as um, Hannon. So um, then let's go slightly further afield in terms of the broader overall Europe, uh, European situation. And I would award the uh, European Politician of the Year to Gert Wilders. Uh, this Dutch um, politician has bravely spoken out concerning the threat of Islam. All he's had is uh, abuse from the demified European elite who hate to have some of these issues brought up and discussed openly. But uh, Wilders has uh, 
been very courageous in my opinion uh, and at some considerable personal danger in highlighting the menace that Islam represents to our modern democracies and I think he thoroughly uh, deserves this broader European um, recognition. Zooming across the Atlantic in my carbon emitting plane, I now descend upon the USA, the land of the uh, land of the free and the heavily indebted these days thanks to Obama. And you're not going to be surprised when I tell you who I think has made the biggest impact on US politics in 2009. And yes, it's the former Alaskan governor, um, Sarah Palin. I think uh, Palin has shown all the virtues that I would look for in terms of uh, a political leader. She's uh, been courageous, she's been fearless, she's been outspoken, she's connected with what many of the ordinary people um, want to, uh, to hear and of course she's been vilified for doing it. She's shown the Beltway GOP leadership up for what they are, namely a bunch of incompetence um, and I think Palin has uh, stood out from the masses and you know whilst people will mock her the fact is that uh, the crowds that turned up recently for her book, uh, her book tour uh, is indicative of that um, connection she has with so many ordinary Americans and uh, therefore uh, it is with some um, pleasure that I give her uh, this award. Now unfortunately she can't be here herself to, sp to pick it up however I'm putting it to one side and I'm looking forward to on her uh, first tour of the UK that she will be uh, calling into ATW Central where it can be uh, the award can be bestowed upon her in person. I'll fill you in on the details once it's happened. Um, then let's look at um, the um, perhaps the most useless politician of the year. Very difficult one this to call. Here in the UK we've had hundreds of MPs who have been troughing it at our expense in Parliament, charging up everything conceivable uh, to us the taxpayer, um, be it from moat houses uh, to duck ponds to the price of a bar of chocolate. They want us to pay. Um, but there is only really one candidate who towers above everyone else in the field of being utterly useless and that's our Prime Minister Gordon Brown, the man who's abolished boom and bust and replaced it with bust, the man who's essentially bankrupted UK PLC and who has built up a, a, a debt mountain which is without parallel. This man is going to ensure that the future generations of UK uh, people have uh, horrendous um, taxes to pay and uh, costs to meet in order to uh, cover the debt that he's run up so recklessly in recent times. And then uh, sort of moving swiftly towards the end, uh, the biggest letdown in terms of politician this year has to be the one. Obama, he promised so much, didn't he? And at the end of 12 months, he looks to me like a one-term president. Uh, assuming the Republicans get their act together. He has uh, failed to um, placate the radicals on the far left who were behind his uh, rise uh, to uh, on high. And of course many of those independent voters who chose to put their trust in him have been significantly let down and that's why his opinion ratings have fallen because they have realized that they've bought themselves a bit of a pup in the White House and um, they've got three more years of it now before um, he can be thrown out. Um, and that really, I guess, concludes the Tangled Web. It's a very swift um, um, uh, journey through the political ranks of 2009. Thank you for your continued patronage of the site. I want to take this opportunity to wish each and every, few, each and every one of you a very happy Christmas. And uh, I look forward to you coming here in even greater numbers in 2010. In the meantime, take care.